Hey guys, it's me, Piper, and this is a really special interview. I've been waiting for a long time to interview Miss Beaumont, ever since she got back from Wonderland. She plays Alice from Alice in Wonderland, and she plays Wendy from Peter Pan. And this is the new Blu-ray, Diamond Edition, which has awesome special features. And I have always wanted a Diamond Edition movie, and Peter Pan is one of my favorites. Oh, and I also lost a tooth the other day. Bye! Status searching. Hey guys, I'm Piper East from Piper's Picks TV, and I'm here with a Disney legend who's been to Neverland and Wonderland. It's Alice and Wendy and Catherine Beaumont. Hi, Catherine. Hello. It's so nice to see you and to talk to you. Nice to see you, too. So let's start off with Alice in Wonderland first, since you were Alice before you were a Wendy bird. Is it true that you were only my age when you, when you found out you got Alice? Let's see. Now you're 12, right? Yeah. So for Alice, I was 10. So that was like when you were probably in fifth grade, right? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Because I was still in elementary school, so I did have to go to school at the same time that I was working. <laughs> wow, that must have been difficult. How'd you balance that out? Well, you have to balance it out. But uh, when you're working, um, you have to have three hours of school and the four hours of work for the studio. So mm -hmm. the teacher that was on call would make sure that she knew exactly how many minutes I had worked on the set and come back to work on my schoolwork so that I didn't have any problem with not getting the full three hours. Yeah. <laughs> I heard we have something in common today, something okay. special. Okay, what's that? It's your very own birthday, too. Happy own birthday. Oh, my gosh. You're right. <laughs> a very merry own birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Is it true that Mr. Disney personally picked you to play Alice? I believe it was. <laughs> um, he was looking for an Alice, and he was looking for a voice that was pleasing to American ears as well as British ears because it was going to be filmed in both countries. And um, he just found my voice was... Um, suitable for the part and um, he was a stickler for authenticity and so he wanted it to be just right for both sides of the ocean and um, so he was listening to all of the different little girls who were reading for the part and he found my voice was the most suitable and he was the one that made the decision you're finally. a lot like her too like you act like her <laughs> well I, I guess thank you <laughs> Anyway, so that's, that's how that all came about, and um, I had a wonderful experience playing the part of Alice because um, I got to do the voice part, and then, then afterwards they wanted me to do what they call live action, which is doing a movie, but the audience, a big audience, doesn't get to see it. It's just for the animators, and the reason for that is so that they can watch your movements and it helps them to draw. And that was mainly what it was for. So there were two parts to doing the Alice in Wonderland role. That was actually my next question. Which was more fun, the live action or the, or the voice work? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, I liked both. Uh, I think it was a lot of fun, especially with the Alice in Wonderland role, because Alice was in so many different locations and had so many, <laughs> yeah. no, she was too large for one place, too little, and she was <laughs> eating the wrong side of the mushroom, and just all these things were going on. So they had to create these different scenes with very little, uh, very little stuff to help me to really see what was going on. It would be a very simple set with a board and I'd have to run across the board and jump over something. And then there was um, a little frame somewhere, and they'd say, that's going to be where the Cheshire Cat's supposed to be. So I had to pretend that <laughs> so was the Cheshire Cat. you got a lot of exercise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and talk as if I was really talking to the Cheshire Cat. All kinds of stuff like that, but it was fun. <laughs> that really sounds really good. fun and very, very exercising. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> you looked a lot like Alice in An Hour in Wonderland. Did they ever consider doing a live action? 
I'm not really aware of that. I know that um, it was an animated feature and that was what they were going to work on and they already had lined up some of the feature films that were going to come after that time. So uh, it was that to Peter Pan, that was the next one, to uh, Sleeping Beauty and it just kept going. They had plans for way into the future for animated features. What was it like working with Ed Wynn? Oh, you know, it was a surprise. Um, I knew Edwin because of how famous he was. And he was a comedian. And he was funny no matter what. So I expected that's what it was going to be like. But he was really very serious between takes and uh, just wanting to make sure that he did what the directors wanted him to do. Of course, when the camera went on, then he was all laughs and he was <laughs> full of the silliness and everything. But um, he was a different kind of personality behind the scenes when he wasn't actually performing. And, you know, I, That's as funny. a child, I didn't know the difference until I actually worked with someone. And then I realized, oh, of course, they can't be like this all the time. <laughs> they can't be funny, funny all the time. Their real person also comes out. So mm -hmm. I learned a little something with that. That's, that's really sweet. <laughs> the Peter Pan ride is one of the best in Disneyland and Disney World. What did you think the first time you went on it? Oh, gosh, I was excited. I loved it. I thought the, um, the Imagineers did such a wonderful job putting that whole ride together. And it's very, very magical. I think that the Imagineers are creative people who, who just do wonderful things at the park. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Don't you have fun on the rides? Did you oh, like yes. Alice? Yeah. Did you like the Alice ride? The Alice in Wonderland ride is only in Disneyland, and I grew up in Florida going oh. to Disney world okay. so I was really surprised when I went on that it was so cool seriously we've gone on it like five times and yeah. we've only been to Disneyland like a couple times and we've gone on that so much oh. and you know that one they revamped you know they redid that ride it was a two-minute ride for many years and then they decided to expand so it became a four-minute ride and they asked me to redo the voice the Alice voice for the ride and I participated in that and when I went on that ride for the first time, I really was impressed because it, was it so just cool. goes into so many different places. Yeah. And it is twice as long as the original, so it really is a lot of fun. Once when I was going on it, uh, right when the ride thing yeah. was like right there, I saw over the railing Tinkerbell because oh. there was a parade going on. Oh. And I was like, hi, we've been to her. Yeah. <laughs> like on the ride. Straight out, right? To yeah. That, yes, yes. <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah. And the fact that it goes outside. I love that. Park, that it goes, goes outside. Back in yeah. Just before it ends. I love that. Yeah. That's a really cool ride. It is a it is a nice ride. How many times have you been on the teacup ride? Oh god whoa, the teacup ride. Well, when I was younger I went on it more often. I don't go on it just quite as often anymore. <laughs> what are your most special memories from being Wendy? Oh gosh. You know, there are so many wonderful memories, and, and it's hard to pinpoint. I just think it was such a wonderful experience all the way around with um, the fact that I had a lot of people, another actors, to play with, with you know, to play, to play uh, uh, with the scenes with. And uh, with Alice, I had a lot that I had to do by myself because a lot of the characters were not human. So I had to really imagine being that there was a person there. But with Peter Pan, I actually was acting with other live people. And yeah. I think that was, that was what was so nice, being able to do that. Do you ever dress up as Alice or Wendy for Halloween? <laughs> not, since, not since I was uh, in my teen years. <laughs> but that's a thought. What did your friends think when you got the role? Well, everybody was just very excited for me and the fact that it actually happened. So, yeah, they were very supportive and, um, and were just very excited for me. Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan both came out before Disneyland opened. Did you hear any talk about it? Oh, are you saying uh, he about the fact that uh, Disneyland was going to be built? Yeah. Yeah, there, there was a lot of uh, talk, discussion, plans, because that was going to be the next venture that Walt Disney was going to 
be participate in, and a lot of it was studying what you know the, the the aspects of it and how it was going to come together. And I remember a little of that, but not a lot because my job was working on the film and I didn't necessarily hear a lot about the other things that were going on with their other plans. I heard that there's a pass that gets you into any Disney park whenever you want. As a Disney legend, you get one of those? Yes, I was lucky enough to do that so I can <laughs> go when I, when I wish to go, which is really nice. That's really cool. To any park? Oh, to, yes, to the one that's in Florida and the one that's here in L.A. <laughs> what are the special thoughts that come in mind when you think of Walt Disney? That he was a very accessible person who was very, I, I felt very comfortable being around him. Um, I expected the head of the studio to be businesslike and that he really wasn't around very much, you didn't see much of him, but um, he was part of what we call the creative team. And so as a result, you'd see him walking through the hall, you'd see him in the elevator, you'd see him go to the cafeteria and get his tray and take it, and choose his food, That's find really a place funny. to sit, yeah. So it was a whole different kind of experience that I wasn't, aware that this was how it was and it was really delightful and I, I felt, as I said, I really felt comfortable being around him. That's really sweet. So he was definitely very nice. He was very nice. He really was. <laughs> I have one more question. Can you tell me how to get to Neverland? <laughs> just a little pixie dust. You just have to get that from someone else though. <laughs> And then you can fly. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've always wanted a Diamond Edition movie. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and leave your messages below.